In today's video, we're gonna discuss some of the reasons why a chow chow might not be the right breed for you. We're gonna look into their exercise needs, any medical issues linked to this breed, and plenty of other things that you should seriously consider before potentially adding this breed to your family. Welcome back to the Fenrir Chow Chow Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine needer here at FenrirCanineEaters.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine needer who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss a future upload of the Fenrir Chow Chow Show. So let's dive into some of the reasons why you possibly shouldn't get a Chow Chow. Chow Chows are a very independent breed. They can be very stubborn when training and they certainly know their own mind. Chow Chows are also very clever dogs and they can be sneaky if they want something. If not trained properly, they can steal food if it's left out, and they can also be great escape artists. This breed doesn't try to please their owners as many other breeds do. This doesn't mean, however, that they're not affectionate dogs. Chow Chows are notoriously bad in a recall situation, and if you allow your Chow Chow off the lead, it's likely that they'll not return. They do not understand personal space, and they will want to follow you everywhere, including the toilet. This makes them a breed not suitable to leave alone for long periods of time, and if they get bored they can turn to bad behaviours such as chewing, barking, digging and pulling up the carpet. It's advised that you don't leave them alone for any longer than two hours a day, and when you do leave them alone, it's a great idea to keep them mentally stimulated. This can be achieved with plenty of toys like Kongs, treat dispensing pools, hide and slide puzzles and snuffle mats, which need to be switched every few days to stop them getting bored. Chow Chows are a very protective breed that attach themselves to their families and will defend them when they feel the need to. They can be aggressive dogs if not socialised from a young age to different people, situations, sights and sounds. Chow Chows are also not the best with the other dogs if not properly socialised. They can become aggressive when approached by any dog that they've not met before. They can also have issues with dogs the same sex as them. Chow Chows have a high prey drive as they were bred as hunting dogs. So again, if not properly socialised with small animals, they can become aggressive. It's not best to leave your chow chow with any small animal unsupervised to prevent any incidents from happening. If you want a breed that can bike, hike or run with, then this may not be the right breed for you either. Chow chows are moderately active dogs and they'll need at least 30 minutes exercise a day. You should never exercise your chow chow on hot days as they can very easily overheat and get heat stroke and this can be extremely dangerous. Some of the health issues to look out for include hip and elbow dysplasia. This is when the hip or elbow doesn't sit in the socket properly and it will eventually lead to arthritis and cause pain and discomfort for your dog. If not treated promptly, this can also lead to lameness. Cruciate ligament disease is when the knee joint becomes painful and hard to put pressure on. This can lead to your dog limping. Uh, entropion is another common issue in chow chows. This is when the eyelids roll inwards. This can cause the eyelid to become painful. Bloat is an extremely dangerous health issue. This is when the stomach flips. It can be, be a life-threatening health issue. If you notice any signs of bloat, you need to seek medical attention from the vets. Symptoms of bloat include restlessness, retching, drooling, a hard or expanded stomach. Your dog may also whine and whimper as they could be in pain. Chow chows can suffer from a bone disease called panosteitis. This bone disease can be extremely painful and can cause lameness. The final issue I wanted to talk to you about is hypothyroidism. This develops when a dog has an underactive thyroid. Symptoms of this include loss of fur, lack of energy and weight gain, dry skin, skin infections, shivering. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behavior cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. And in severe cases, hypothyroidism can lead to your chow chow falling into a comatose state. 
There are plenty of pros and cons to adding a child child to your family. It's so important to make sure you do your research before purchasing or rehoming any breed. There are also so many dogs like the Chow Chow being purchased without this knowledge. Then owners soon realise they don't have the time to exercise or train them, or they realise they're a lot bigger breed than they first expected and don't have enough room for them. There are too many dogs in shelters, so please only commit to this beautiful breed if you're certain you have what it takes to look after them for the rest of their life. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you never miss any future updates. We have regular Chow Chow videos dropping here every single week. So I can't wait to see you on the next episode of the Fenrir Chow Chow Show.